Dear colleagues, this is a good case for beginners to do direct chop. Let us observe the surgical stiffs. The main incision 2.8 millimeter has been made. Now, viscoelastic substance is being injected into the anterior chamber. The patient is under topical anesthesia and in any topical anesthesia many patients will not cooperate for the first two minutes. So we have to talk to patients a lot and by this time he or she will get adapted to the bright light of the microscope and after two minutes most of the patients will cooperate. So the main incision and two sideboards have been made. Now capsulorexis is to be done. I incise the anterior pole of the cataract with this 26 case bent needle. Raise a nice flap which is very easy to hold with a uterata forceps. And here is the uterata forceps. I hold this flap a tent against the anterior leaf of the main incision tint the anterior lip so that leakage of viscoelastic substance become very minimal and I can do rexis at on go without using viscoelastic substance in the middle of the rexis in most of the cases. In very rare circumstances I have to come out and inject some viscoelastic substance and complete the rexis. Now hydrodissection, here it is, hydrodissection and hydrodelineation. Hydrodelineation has produced a golden ring in this case. Now we can see that this is not a very hard cataract. It may be more hard than a grade 2 cataract but less hard than a grade 3 cataract. So we can see this is a grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. This is just an estimation. Different surgeons have different views regarding grading of nuclear sclerosis. The thing is whether we can hold it or not. This nucleus appears like that we can hold it with vacuum. It's appearing like that. Let us see. I'm making few skulls. One, two, and three. Three skulls and I go at a deeper plane and I chop the nucleus. We don't use much vacuum. Just rest. We go to a deeper level give support with the FACO teeth and we can slice the nucleus. This nucleus is a brittle one and it's a very good case for beginners. A brittle nucleus is, is, is loved by beginners a lot. That's it. The nucleus has been removed. Now this is what is remaining is cortical lens matter. SPMC is injected and now a Simco cannula 23 gaze is being used in this case to remove the cortical matter. One can use bimanual irrigation aspiration or coaxial irrigation aspiration for removal of cortical lens matter. Thorough cleaning is important. With what instrument you clean is least important. That's it. So we have removed the cortical matter and little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done. 
by the Simco cannula itself. We can do hydro polish also, but in this case, the poster capsule appeared clean and I didn't do a hydro polish. Now, a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted using viscoelastic substance. Now, whenever we use viscoelastic substance, we must clean the viscoelastic substance out of the anterior chamber very thoroughly. The, new, the intraocular lens is dialed in such a way that I can go behind the intraocular lens and remove the viscoelastic substance from the capsular bag. Depressed the posterior lip of the main incision so that a lot of viscoelastic substance come out. Now I removed the viscoelastic substance first with Simco cannula flushed out and now I am using bimanual irrigation aspiration for the removal of viscoelastic substance that is HPMC that I have used in this case. Now hydration of the side ports are done so that these side ports become waterproof. The final wash is given, uh, detachment is formed and the case gets over. Thank you for your attention.